The new concept of electric plasma engines stayed in the lab for too long. Now it's getting ready to be available to the public and it would be the most incredible invention in the realm of sustainable aviation. Do you think this invention would take over the aviation industry? What is the new plasma engine and why is this possibly the best solution for sustainable aviation? Let's investigate those questions and deep dive into this incredible innovative technology. To reduce carbon emissions and create a better world, various concepts and new technologies have been devised and tested. One of them is the electric plasma jet engine. The idea originated from the thought of finding a better solution for sustainability. The overuse of fossil fuels is a major concern in today's world. Fossil fuel engines were degrading the environment and everyone is on the run to save our world. Scientists are working day and night to find a complete solution to reduce carbon emissions. Carbon capture is new technology that's being used to reduce emissions. It will reduce the amount of carbon dioxide. This innovation has helped us in many ways. Another technology was used to lower the rate of electric vehicles. This also made it easier to produce electric vehicles in large numbers. Vehicles, depending on fossil fuels, were reduced in numbers and people started traveling in electric vehicles to show their commitment to protecting the environment. It was at this time a group of scientists were on a mission to innovate an electric plasma jet engine to reduce carbon emissions. As part of this, they started working on this project for a prolonged time. The aviation industry has been using fossil fuel planes for decades. The invention of electric plasma engines will change the aviation industry for good. Do you have any idea how much the airline industry contributes to carbon emissions? Well, 12% of carbon dioxide emissions in the world are brought in by the radiation industry. Road transport vehicles contribute 74%. You might be thinking that the percentage of carbon dioxide emissions from the aviation industry is small. That's not the case. In a few years, it could go higher than we can imagine. At Wuhan University, there is an institute of technical science. Many inventions take place there. This time, a group of scientists worked towards creating a jet engine that could replace fossil fuels. The person you see on the screen is Zhuo Tang. He is the one who led this team of scientists, and he said that the inspiration for this innovation was to solve global warming. We should mention here that it remains to be seen whether the electric plasma jet engine was invented by China. There are several stories going around that a group of scientists led by NASA made this discovery much earlier, but that China is now publishing it big time. The world of aviation will be transformed by this single invention. As they don't need fossil fuels to produce their engines, the worry about greenhouse gas effects will disappear. A pressurized airstream is introduced here as a method of produced thrust. It can even lift a steel ball that weighs around 1 kilogram. The prototype of the engine has performed well enough that the scientists have full thrust in their invention. The whole engine is based on microwave air plasma. This would break the traditional use of fossil fuel engines for the past years. Plasma prototype thrusters will be used to build this engine. Many atmospheric forces come into play. NASA's ion thrusters might not be able to face all the obstacles, but this new invention of plasma electric engine would surpass it. The NASA ion thruster uses xenon gas while the plasma engine uses the plasma and not any type of gases. The fourth state of matter will be put into use by enabling its full potential. Its special characteristics help scientists to create this amazing engine. The world was not expecting such an invention, and now everyone can't stop talking about it. The microwave generator is put into use here to create plasma. The team has come up with this simple yet innovative idea to produce the plasma engine. If scientists can produce a bigger engine with the same method, then we can look towards a much cleaner environment, and this would benefit us in every way. The figure has to be changed. The prototype would have to generate more newtons per kilowatt than it does now. The compressed air and the microwave energy have to be considered as it's what makes plasma. There are many challenges they are facing. First is the use of the engine in a conventional plane. Many believe that scientists would make it possible. Let's look deep into the plasma engine. After this quite technical lesson, we summarize the benefits this engine will have and why this is the possible solution for sustainable aviation. But before we do that, Please like this video and become a subscriber to this channel. We have come so far from not knowing how to make a fire to make a jet engine. Mankind has evolved a lot and exceeded our expectations. Air plasma is used here in this engine and what's more shocking than that, propulsion is generated here through the plasma engine using air as well as electricity. This is the complete opposite of a traditional commercial aircraft and its engine. High performance air plasma was created to make sure that there is no exploitation of fossil fuels anymore. There are many limitations to this engine. The energy requirement would be an obstacle that they have to tackle. Plasma erosion is another obstacle that comes their way. 
Many believe that the plasma thrusters will not be highly efficient when it goes out there in orbit. There are many types of engines. Have you heard of helicon plasma thrusters? When exposed to a static magnetic field, there are helicon waves that are present inside the plasma. These are exposed to the field and that's how the helicon plasma thrusters. There is another type named magnetoplasma dynamic thrusters. Thrust is generated here by an interaction between the electric current and a magnetic field. Plasma engines are the future engines that can be even used for interplanetary missions. The high specific impulse would do wonders. Many other space engines develop plasma propulsion systems. The European Agency is one among them. It was in 2011, BUSEC and NASA came together to make their first Hall Effect thruster. It was made for the TACSAT-2 satellite. Satellite's primary propulsion system was the thruster. The same company came up with the Hall Effect Trusty in the same year. After a few years, this plasma jet was launched by Wuhan University. The research on this engine was published at first. In the work, we can see that they used microwave power that was converted to trust by them. Did you hear about Vasimir? It's developed by Ad Astra Company. There is another company called Nautel, which is based in Canada. 200 kW RF generators are produced by Nautel. They are highly required for the propelling to be ionized. The Costa Rica Laboratory has also conducted experiments named Plasma Shoot. Dr. Franklin Chang Diaz was the first who led this project. He was a former NASA astronaut. Outside the International Space Station, Vasimir was to be built as an exterior support. This was announced by the Costa Rican Aerospace Alliance. It was in 2016, they expected to test it in space. High voltage grids were not the first choice to accelerate the particles which are in the plasma. The particles will be charged. Here currents are used because they accelerate the ions. At last, lower exhaust velocity will be the result. The type of thruster used here has a lot of benefits to it. A potential limiting component is eliminated by the absence of grids and anodes which are high voltage. This was a result of grid ion erosion. With every milestone, the vision of cleaner skies draws closer. The carbon footprint of aviation retreats and the world breathes a sigh of relief, knowing that a more sustainable future is within reach. But how big is this impact of this new technology and potential? According to a University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign study, plasma engines could emit up to 60 less carbon than regular jet engines. That is a massive improvement on the current situation and an insane big impact on sustainability and carbon footprint. This game-changing innovation on the horizon prompts the question, what amazing enhancements may we achieve by fully utilizing plasma engines? What impact might this have on the future of transportation as we know it? Our expectation is that this is going to have a mega positive impact on CO2 emissions and make the aviation industry more sustainable. What are your thoughts on this? Leave your answers in the comments section below. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Are you looking forward to traveling in a jet with this electric plasma engine? Do you think other countries support this invention? Let us know in the comments.